The most contentious legal battles in NFL history now over. You've heard the heartbreaking stories. Football players taking their own lives because of head trauma endured on the field. Today, a lawsuit against the NFL now settled. I'm Bill Fitzgerald. I'm Candace Burns in for Stephanie Roshan tonight, the widow of a former U of R and professional football star who killed himself two years ago this month, spoke with our John Broquette about the agreement. John. Candace Ray Easterling played for the Richmond Spiders here at City Stadium in the late 60s and early 70s. From there, he played free safety for the Atlanta Falcons for eight NFL seasons. But it's what happened off the field that has been front and center in a federal lawsuit filed against the NFL. Got again, Gilliam. Ray Easterling stepped in. He gave it his all on the field. Tackled by Ray Easterling. In exchange, he took some breathtaking blows to the head. Ray Easterling committed suicide in 2012. The medical examiner ruled he had degenerative brain disease caused by multiple concussions, chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. For about 20 years, he exhibited mood changes, behavioral changes. It wasn't until uh, March of 2011 that we knew for sure that he had dementia due to concussions that he had suffered in the NFL. Months prior to, and even after Easterling's death, his wife was on the offensive line when it came to fighting the NFL for a financial settlement between the league and thousands of former players. An agreement a judge signed off on Wednesday provides up to $5 million per retired player for serious medical conditions associated with head trauma. It applies to all players who hung up their cleats prior to July 7, 2014. But money, Marianne Easterling says, that's not what her fight is about. I'm hoping that we will find a way to diagnose CTE in living players and that they will be able to be treated um, to prevent the, what happened to Ray. Mary Ann Easterling goes on to say, Bill and Candace, that she believes the NFL has taken baby steps to fix the concussion issue, adding there's still huge hiccups when it comes to CTE discussions. Working for you in Richmond tonight, John Burkett, CBS 6 News.